Hey people, so uh, while I've yet to find a practical use for a spherical gravity generator, I uh, got the idea to build a gravity cannon, well a practical one. Um, and this is what I've come up with. It's a neat little ship with 16 gravity generators, uh, firing st steel plates from this connector. Uh, the connector is fed through conveyors from the rear, and that's supposed to be a small car container, not a conveyor. Um, and has four reactors because I thought it needed that much, but after adjusting the field size, I think I only okay, I, I yeah, I only need one. I had to think about that for a second. Sorry. Um, so yeah. Uh, the 16 generators will push an object to max speed in about two thirds of a second. Yeah, 156 meters per second squared, I think. So that should be enough to get it to max speed before going out of range. Um, I'm kind of satisfied with the design with the setup uh, because it's rather cheap, apart from gravity generators, but you can't really avoid them. Uh, the rest of the ship is rather small, easy to conceal, compared to having a big long uh, gravity gun that some people make for some weird reason. Um, so yeah, it can be made cheaper, for example I've cloned the sides with conveyors in each side, although you only need one, but that's just for aesthetics. Pr uh, you can practically strip most of the armoring off and one side of the connectors and three of the reactors and the steel work just as well. Anyhow, I have set up the red ship out there as a target, and we're going to be firing at that. Uh, oh, last thing, the controls are number one for red generators one on and off. You kind of want to turn them off when you're not using it because power. And the second one is for toggling the ejector, for throwing out the, um, the steel plates. And the last one is for collect all in the ejector because you don't want to collect all all the time. For example, if you're dug at your station to fill up armor, you don't want it to suck out all your ore and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyhow, let's uh, let's do this. Oh yeah, do you don't want to be firing near a grass field? It will seriously deflect your shots. Anyhow, firing at the red ship. Uh, I'm going to be starting off with actually just stacking up a few plates out in front so I can fire them in a series because as you can see um, sometimes, especially when you're firing up close, uh, stuff has a tendency to just go straight through. Which can be beneficial if there's something on the other side to hit, but still. Also, the red ship has a great generator, so we kind of got to compensate for that. That's a pain in the ass. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be firing for about 10 seconds more, and then I'll go take a look at the damage, if any. Well, I guess we did some damage. Obviously, you want to be firing from above the gravity field or something, so you don't have it working against you and actually bending down the shots, but yeah, let's shut it off and see what we've done. So yeah, I only think one of the shots actually impacted probably. It's really hard to shoot at something from afar when you are working against a gravity field, uh, but <laughs> As you can see, when uh, when you get an impact, you get an impact. They may be tiny, the metal plates, but uh, they can deal some serious damage. Um, as a final demonstration, I'm going to be shooting from up close, so we are pretty sure we won't miss. And let's see if we get a difference. I'm going to back a bit away, because if I shoot up really close, um, I will have the 16 G's pushing the plate through and that kind of defeats the purpose of 
testing a long range weapon so we're just going to get out of the grad generator's influence and simulate simulate some good good hits yeah that should do it so yeah when you do get some good hits in uh, well you when you actually hit your target you will deal quite substantial damage often sometimes you will just do absolutely nothing and actually I'm going to uh, go look at that hopefully it won't hit it just did um, try to let you see what happens sometimes it does diddly and other times it just ravages whatever it hits. Um, uh, those ricochets can actually deal more damage than the initial shot for some weird reason. I'm not sure about the physics behind these but um, <laughs> yeah as you can see. So a sustained bombardment from afar will deal substantial damage especially to a base it wrecks havoc on bases. Uh, but also to ships if you can compensate for the gravity they usually have. Anyhow, that is just about all I've got for now. Um, thank you for watching and if you have any questions regarding this video or spending news in general feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer and help. See ya!